Prince Harry and Meghan Markle face an uncertain 2024 professionally, which is why the pair need to put their money where their mouth is when it comes to their directive. I think that they have to figure out what their core values are and that it has to be reflected in the activities that they do for people to have any sort of interest in them or any sort of faith in them, entertainment and royal analyst Kenzie Schofield told an outlet when discussing the twosome's brand identity. Meghan is obsessed with the future. She's obsessed with how to secure a livelihood for herself and her family. She does not feel as if the royal family are going to give the olive branch, she added. Schofield continued, for instance, writing the letter to King Charles that we found out about in Omid Scobie's book. She doesn't think that they are going to give her what she needs so, her focus is on the future. I do believe that it is Prince Harry who wants to mend fences because there are very few people in the world who understand what he is going through, and now they are no longer in his life. During the autumn of 2023, reports came out that reflected the fifth in line to the throne's apparent homesickness for both Britain and the life he only ever knew in the royal family. But this only worked to shine a stronger spotlight on the home dynamic between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in a land far away from Harry's culture. I know when they struggle professionally, I hear through other people that it affects them at home, the royal expert observed. I would never judge them on that because who doesn't work that way? Schofield then turned her attention toward a recent spread that claimed the royal rebels were on fire professionally as the new year kicked off. When you are struggling professionally, sometimes you bring that home with you. A U.S. Weekly article that came out said that Harry and Meghan were dodging offers left and right. And this was really their time to rebrand, how many times have we heard that word in the last two years? Still, as the couple approaches their fourth year together in America, tell-alls and trendy speeches seem to be the crux of what they have to offer, even though their brand identity seems to suggest something else. We have not seen the life of service. What does our tool stand for? What do you hope to accomplish with that? What is your mission statement? Not only as a couple, but as a foundation? Schofield concluded. GBN interviewed Schofield.